Greetings! After careful analysis and countless probings, we have discovered the key to how the odd yet fascinating organisms on Earth live. The answer is two related and mirrored functions, photosynthesis and respiration. Animal life uses respiration, in which food is used to release energy. Plant life uses respiration as well, but can also use photosynthesis, in which energy is used to produce food. Why they do not live off the gravitational plasma energies of dark matter, we do not know. More probing is required. But for now, let's explore the processes which make Earth life possible. Photosynthesis and respiration. Examine the plant. Enhance. 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 Now we discover the cell. Enhance once more and we uncover chloroplast. This is the machine used for photosynthesis. The plant takes in raw materials, CO2, carbon dioxide in earth speak, H2O or water, and sunlight. These raw materials are the reactants. They are inorganic. These materials enter the chloroplast, which converts them into the end products, C6H12O6, otherwise known as glucose or sugar, or in this case, food, and the byproduct, O2, oxygen. Oxygen is released by the plant as waste. Meanwhile, the glucose is used by the plant as food. The glucose molecule is so small that it can pass through the semi-permeable membrane of the cell. When the plant makes an excess of glucose, some glucose molecules will bind together to be stored as starch. Starch is too large to pass through the membrane of the cell. And that is how the plant life on Earth takes in sunlight energy and creates food. The formula is simply carbon dioxide plus water plus the energy, sunlight, through the enzymes of the chloroplast produce glucose, the food, and oxygen, which is released back into the air. Now, let's look at cellular respiration. Animal life uses a similar process in the opposite way. They use organic material to produce energy. Examine the walking ape. Enhance. 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 Now, we discover the cell. Enhance once more, and we uncover the mitochondria. For the function of this machine, we simply reverse the process of the chloroplast. The cell takes in the raw materials, glucose, the sugar from eaten food, and oxygen. In this direction, we begin with an organic compound, sugar, along with inorganic oxygen as our reactants. The mitochondria processes these raw materials and produces the end products. ATP, biochemical energy, water, either used by the body or excreted, and carbon dioxide, which is exhaled as waste from the body. The formula for cellular respiration is simply glucose, the food, plus oxygen. They pass through the mitochondria, which uses enzymes to produce ATP, the energy the creature's cells live off of, and the byproducts carbon dioxide and water. It is important to note that food is not energy that can be used directly by cells. Food has potential energy. It is a raw material necessary for the production of energy that can be used by cells directly. Much like how magnetized ionic quarks are not the energy that powers our interstellar engines, but are a necessary ingredient used to create the hypergluon energy that does. But of course, the beings of Earth don't know about that yet. What is important, in review, is that on Earth, plant life uses both photosynthesis and cellular respiration. They make their own food, glucose, through photosynthesis. Then they use that glucose for cellular respiration to create ATP. The animal life, however, can only utilize cellular respiration. Thus, the same basic machine used in both manners by plant life and just one manner by animal life. 
If the creatures of Earth could simply tap into the bountiful quarks of dark matter, these processes would be unnecessary. But for the knowable future, plants and animals will create and consume energy via these two mirrored processes.